Today we are talking about how the BRM programs work together to stabilize income. So now that we have learned the basics for agri-stability, agri-insurance and agri-invest we will now discuss how the suite of business risk management programs work collectively. For producers to maximize potential government assistance in the event of a disaster, they need to participate in the full suite of business risk management programs, which includes agri-stability. You may have heard this statement from producers. I have crop insurance, why should I participate in agri-stability? For a producer that carries crop insurance, the discussion about agri-stability could simply be, 1. What if the price of your commodity falls after harvest? 2. What if your fertilizer, chemical or fuel goes up in price or you require more? 3. What if you have a disaster that impacts production, like a flood, drought or disease that is not fully covered off by your crop insurance? Agri-insurance triggers a payment when production falls below elected coverage caused by specified perils. Agri-stability triggers a payment when a producer's program year margin falls below 70% of their reference margin level. With all of the options available to mitigate risks producers undoubtedly have questions about the differences between products. Whether or not they choose agri-stability will be based partially on their risk appetite. The ability for a producer to manage risks will depend on a variety of factors, diversity in commodities, size, debt load, other insurance etc. Risk in agriculture isn't solely about production. It's also about barriers to markets, commodity pricing, direct input costs and other events beyond the producer's control. Agri-stability and agri-insurance programs belong to the same suite of programs and as such they are different by design. Governments strongly encourage producers to carry agri-insurance to cover production's costs and if a producer has a program year less than zero in agri-stability and they didn't carry crop insurance below a 70% level. AFSC will bring their program year margin back to zero dollars. What are some of the risks that are faced by producers, and how does agri-stability and agri-insurance work together to mitigate producers' risks? Agri-insurance provides coverage during the growing season up to the point that the insured crop is harvested. Agri-stability provides coverage for losses throughout the entire program year. In an example where a fire destroys the harvested crop, agri-insurance would not cover this loss, but it could trigger benefits under agri-stability because sue of lost revenue. Example, spray drift A producer has hired a company to spray his crops and the spray drifts to another field and destroys that crop. Agri-insurance would not cover the loss of production on the destroyed crop. Agri-stability may provide some protection as the producer would have no production off that field which would result in a revenue decline that may trigger a payment. Unseeded crop, in the event of unseeded acres due to a disaster like flooding, agri-insurance provides a spot loss benefit to partially offset the cost of preparing the land for seeding the next year. Agri-stability could trigger assistance as a result of the lost income for the crop year. Commodity Pricing Agri-insurance can cover price loss through spring price endorsement or variable price benefit. For agri-stability the spring price endorsement and variable price benefit are considered non-allowable for both income and expense because they are funded by Alberta only. The agri-stability program looks at your inventory and if the commodity pricing has dropped, from opening inventory to closing inventory it will decrease the current year margin which may trigger a payment. Increasing input costs Another real risk facing producers is volatility in the cost of inputs. When you have rising input costs such as fertilizer, chemical or fuel this can also reduce your bottom line. 
For insurance, you can tailor your coverage at either 50, 60, 70 or 80% coverage levels. The coverage level you select may not cover all of your input costs. For agri stability this would increase your expenses dropping your program year margin, and this may trigger a payment. Barn fires, for agri insurance, there is no additional coverage if production has been lost destroyed during storage. When we talk about barn fires and other losses, we are not referring to agri-stability covering the loss of a capital item such as buildings. These types of losses are normally covered through a separate farm business insurance policy. If you had inventory in the fire this would create a revenue decline, which would lower the program year which could trigger a payment. Disease, plant disease is an insurable peril. But there is also a caveat that producers need to follow any provincial regulations to avoid uninsured causes. For example fusarium disease, they are required to buy tested seed, and also to treat the seed before planting or we place uninsured causes on the loss. Because agri-stability is a whole farm program they would deal with the loss of production, because the inventory would decrease causing the program year to drop which may trigger a payment. Pasture, agri-insurance covers pasture through the moisture deficiency program. Agri-stability does not include pasture acres but would look at the increased feed costs which would raise their expenses and lower the program year which may trigger a payment. What is important is to communicate that the two programs work collectively to maximize government assistance. Agri-invest the Agri-Invest program is a savings account for producers that provide flexible coverage for small income declines and supports investments that help mitigate risks and improve market income. The producer can use the money from their Agri-Invest account to put toward the costs of participating in the business risk management programs. For example they could pay their Agri-Stability fees or the Agri-Insurance premiums. In this video we have provided some basic examples to assist you in having a conversation with a producer. What is important here is that you know that producers need the full suite of the business risk management programs to maximize potential government assistance. One of the main advantages of agri-stability is that it is a margin-based coverage program that is very broad and will include risks facing producers that aren't covered by agri-insurance. When having a conversation with a producer and they ask a question and you are unsure of the response. 1. You can call the call center and have them transfer you to an agri-stability analyst. This gives you the ability to learn as you hear the answer or if any other questions come up. 2. You can take down the information talk to someone in agri-stability and call the producer back. That is it for this video. Please check out our six learning scenarios next to help you put all this info into practical use.